Chupa Rustam player seemed to be Shami. He was just an outside player who's just got in and he's proved his worth. He got included in the World Cup squad and uske baad to we all know what happened one khade mein. What Mohammad Shami did after he came is history. Like he said, is Mohammad Shami the Chupa Rustam of this tournament and the find for Team India? There's just so much that's been written about him. There's so much that's been said about him. But Mohammad Shami was probably not even going to be part of the playing eleven. Uh, Shami's story has been fascinating. He's probably been the best player of the tournament. Maybe at the end of the day, they may give it to a batsman. Fact that, but considering the fact that you have had pitches in India which did not really assisted too many bowlers. He's been fantastic. You know, you look at his story. You look at the how luck has played a part in it. Hardik Pandya was doing really well, gets injured, moves out of the team. Shami comes in, and then you just can't move him out of the team because he's been performing amazingly well. Five, I think he's got two fivers. Yes, he's got three. I think. Three yeah. Oh, yeah. So he's got three fivers, and he's been on tracks that have not really assisted. He stood out for whatever it's worth it. And. So initially, and for viewers who you know, obviously everybody is really excited that India is in the finals. But uh, this whole twist of Hardik Pandya's ankle, which led to the twist of fate for Mohammad Shami, that really is a, is a story in itself. Yes, it is because I think the team management was more. Uh, they they basically wanted someone in there who would you know an extra batsman so they can pad up their batting. But Shami comes in and he gives them that option. Now look. Look at the game that India played against New Zealand. There was a section from the 15 to about the 35th over when they were really going strong. Shami comes in and gets them the breakthrough, the first two wickets. Then again, gets them the breakthrough, and then he gets so on and so forth. But Shami's quality is not that. Shami's quality is that of a bowler who, like I think, say 10 years back or something, was primarily a red, red, red ball bowler. And then he converts himself, works during COVID in the nets to a white ball bowler, and works at it for the long term. Everyone has been, you know, everyone has been saying it's the end of Mohammad Shami, but every time he's staged a comeback. This World Cup, bowlers win your tournaments. It's not batsmen they do, and this is exactly what Shami is showing. He's getting you the wickets. In the last game against New Zealand, um, Bumrah basically got hammered, and it was a flat strike. You can understand. So imagine if you played Hardik Pandya at that point in time. Your all your four bowlers are actually being smashed, and here you, this is when you need someone like Shami. So I think Shami has been, and the biggest the biggest compliment that you can give is when you have the greatest bowler of all time, Wasim Akram, praise him. And what did Wasim say? Wasim basically said that his performance has been amazing, and he also mentions the fact that. With Sunil Gavaskar also said is the way that he leaves the seam. The seam just absolutely leaves straight from his hand and lands on the seam, and it is like for a fast bowler magical when that happens. And you know, many people may not even know, but in 2020 there was a live that Rohit Sharma did with Mohammad Shami, and there were some home truths in that. Uh, it was much before the World Cup, but essentially the two of them talked about. The tough time that Mohammad Shami had on the personal front, and how everything about his life was literally about his personal story, and it was really a low point for him. So much so that he even considered taking the extreme step, and it was only his family that literally stood by him and saw him through. And of course, uh, India banking on Mohammad Shami for that big day. From breaking news. Detailed analysis, in-depth interviews, and explainers. Follow the Times of India. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.